Who Took the Cookie is a classic children's game that you can play anywhere, anytime, but it's perfect for circle time in the classroom. Our song is chanted, making it simple for little ones to follow along. And the rhythmic clapping make it a lot of fun to chant along to. In our version, we use animal names as the characters, making it a great song for animal review. But you can change the names to be students in your classroom or other characters. As we chant, we try to find who took the cookie by asking everyone in the circle if they took the cookie until we find the one who did. Stay tuned until after the song to learn some fun activities you can do with who took the cookie. Now let's get started. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Panda took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you, not me. Then who? Rabbit. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Rabbit took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you, not me. Then who? Bear. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Bear took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you, not me. Then who? Penguin. from the cookie jar. Penguin took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Yes, you, not me. Then who? Kangaroo. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Kangaroo took the cookie from the cookie jar. Okay, okay. I took the cookie. I took the cookie from the cookie jar. The yummy, yummy cookie from the cookie jar. Are you hungry? Uh huh. Let's share. Okay. Here you go. Have some cookie. Mmm. Yummy, yummy cookie. That was Who Took the Cookie? This game is most easily played in a circle. Encourage your students to tap their legs and clap as they chant along with the song. Before the game starts, everyone closes their eyes and the teacher walks around the outside of the circle and picks a student to be the person who took the cookie. The teacher will give that student a cookie prop or a cookie flashcard, like this one, from Super Simple, to hide in their lap or to sit on so it's out of sight. Then everyone opens their eyes and the game begins. Start the rhythm by tapping and clapping. And the teacher can ask a student who they think took the cookie from the cookie jar. That student will make a guess. For example, they can say, Sarah, and then begin the chant. Everyone sings, who took the cookie from the cookie jar? And then use the name that was guessed first. Sarah took the cookie from the cookie jar. Then Sarah will say, who, me? And the rest of the class responds, yes, you. Then Sarah will reveal if she is the one who took the cookie or not. If she did not, she should say, not me. And the rest of the class responds, then who? Then Sarah can make her own guess of who took the cookie and say the name out loud. Steve. The chant continues until someone guesses correctly. To make sure the game doesn't end too quickly, you can give multiple students in the circle a cookie and let the group know how many cookies they have to find. Once the person who took the cookie is revealed, they can show the cookie and offer to share with the rest of the class. Our song ends with everyone sharing the cookie together for a positive ending. 
If you'd like to play again, have everyone close their eyes again, and the person who had the cookie can pick the next person to be the one who took the cookie from the cookie jar. You can also play this game with who took the cookie game cards, like these from Super Simple. Using cards allow you to play who took the cookie with as few as two people or as many as you have in your class. Also, when you play with cards, nobody knows who has the cookie, even the student who has it. Sometimes when you give a cookie to one of the students to hide, younger students may have trouble keeping it a secret that they have the cookie. So it could be better to use cards so even they don't know who has the cookie. With two players, shuffle the cards and deal four cards to each player. Each player, without looking at the cards, puts the four cards face down in a row in front of them. Chant the who took the cookie chant. When it's someone's turn to answer if they have the cookie or not, they turn one card over to check and then answer. Continue back and forth until one of the players turns over the cookie card. Each time a student turns over a card, the suspense builds. Children will want to play this game again and again, so it really gives them great practice. For variation, print two or three cookie cards so that when one cookie card is turned over, the game still continues. For more than two people or a larger class, print several sets of who took the cookie cards. You can deal one card to each student seated in a circle or several cards. The more cards each student has, the longer the game will continue. For larger groups, print several cookie cards so that the game continues even after one cookie is found. You can also play a version like this on the board by placing the cards on the board with the blank side facing out. Have your students take turns picking cards to turn over. This is a great way to practice different vocabulary words by placing pictures of items on the part of the card facing the students. For example, you can practice animal vocabulary by having pictures of animals on the cards, and the students will have to identify the animal to flip over the card and see if they have the cookie. You can also do this with food vocabulary, numbers, shapes, or colors. During Halloween, you can play this game using Halloween costume vocabulary too. It's a great game to play year round to practice and review anything your students are learning. You can also try practicing different vocabulary using this game by playing in a circle. Simply print out different flashcards or images and tape one to the front of each student. When you play, instead of addressing the student by name, address them by their flashcard and your students will be practicing different vocabulary as they play. For example, tape different job flashcards to each student, like doctor, farmer, and firefighter. Then, as the students play the game, they can address their fellow students by their profession. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Doctor took the cookie from the cookie jar. This is also a great game to practice intonation. The chant and rhythm of the song helps students naturally understand the question and answer intonation pattern. For example, who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Sarah took the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Not me, then who? The emphasis and tones of the questions and answers are built into the chant. This is a great game to play as part of a food theme or if you're learning about baking. You can also pair this song with other songs about yummy baked food items like Patty Cake and The Muffin Man. We hope you enjoy Who Took the Cookie? Keep on singing, learning, and having fun. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out supersimple.com for more songs and resources. If you have ideas for how to use this song in the classroom or at home, let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe for more teaching tips.